Hey guys, Klein from Brewbrew here. So today we're gonna to show you how to harvest a little drop of yeast. So we've got um, a brew happening in the fridge right behind me here. Um, and as you can see, we've got our site vessel right here on the bottom of our chronicle. Um, now there's some trub that's coll collected in the bottom here. So we're kind of three days or so into uh, our fermentation. <clears throat> probably should have taken a, a dump of this trub uh, probably after day one, but I've been a little bit lazy, sorry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump, dump that first of all, and then we'll collect some yeast. So what I've got is uh, a Kilner jar, so just standard jam, jam jar. That's sitting in a bucket of star sand just now sanitizing. So I'm gonna take that out and we'll get rid of this trub first of all, okay. Right, so as you can see here, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this off first of all, uh, obviously to, so that when we open our bottom, in fact, what we're going to do is we're just going to take this off. Now, you will get... Oh, actually, I forgot to put this on. Usually, I just put a little cloth in here because you do get a little bit of spillage, okay? So, just put something on here. Uh, and actually, we don't even need that jar just now. I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> so, we're going to take this off. So, our butterfly valve is closed. Really, really important that you close that butterfly valve, okay? And then we're just going to take our tri-clamp off. And just... There's our little bit of spillage that we was expecting. So we're just going to take this off and all we're going to do is literally just dump that out just now. I'm going to get rid of it, okay? So that's now dumped out and I've just given this a quick rinse and a dunk in star sand as well. Given this a spray with star sand as well, so what we're going to do is just line this back up. Get our tri-clamp on. They're sometimes a little bit tricky to do one-handed, but you get the hang of them. So we're going to crank that back up. Now, sometimes you might want to... If you've just got a standard airlock in the top of this, you might want to take the airlock out. Um, I've got a, a kind of an overflow here, so I, I'm not too worried about, it might suck a little bit of fluid up out here, but it's, it's not going to go up far. So I'm just going to go and open my butterfly valve again. Okay. And you probably heard that. So that was the kind of the, just a little bit of a dump there as the pressure changed. So what I'm probably going to do now is actually leave this overnight. Uh, and we'll do a we'll do a yeast dump tomorrow. This is looking a little bit better, so I'm expecting all this yeast to nicely settle down, and we'll take that tomorrow. So this white creaminess, that's what we're after, right here. So we're going to harvest some of that now. So I've got a sanitized jar. I'm just going to fish out the bucket now, and we'll uh, we'll harvest away. Same process as before. So we're just going to shut off for butterfly valve. Okay. And then we're going to just carefully unscrew our tri-clamp. Now we will get a little bit of overflow here as well, mention this. Take that tri-clamp off. So we've got a trusty towel there. So yeah, we'll get a little bit of gloop there, but that's all right. And then, now you have to excuse the mess, got some other things going on, I've got some wine happening here. So all we're gonna do is we just take our sight glass, we've got our sanitized jar here, pour the whole lot in. That's pretty much it. Now, what I tend to do is do that a couple of times, actually, because what I'm wanting is I'm wanting a little drop of the wort um, to sit in here as well, just so we get kind of we get that layering. So I find that if you just put a little drop of wort in here, it just acts as a little bit of protection for that yeast cake that will form in the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give us a rinse out with just normal water, and I'll sanitize it, put it back on, do exactly the same again, and then we've got lovely yeast.